man, this shit gonna happen real fast. Just like that. You missed it. You missed it. <laughs> beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustle tv today we are back with another review on today's hair is provided by julia hair do y'all see this kinky wig okay it is given do you see the hairline the lace and the hair itself absolutely love it and this is a 26 inch kinky straight wig and it is a kinky edge wig as well so the edges are very natural looking and today i'm going to be doing a nice quick and pretty install you guys requested before if i can actually curl up some kinky straight hair so i decided to do like a layer soft look uh with this kinky hair and it is so pretty so make sure you guys stay tuned for the final look as you've seen in the beginning of this video and let's get right into it So if you are a returning beauty, then you are used to my uh, installation steps. But today I decided to do things a little bit differently. And I'm going to actually cut the lace off first from around the hairline before I actually begin to install. And this just to give you guys another point of view on how you can also install your wigs. But I only recommend this step if the wig, if the, hair, the hairline of the wig actually fits you perfectly. Then that means it will be able to lay down flat on its own without even having to be glued. In this case, this was the perfect example. As you see, when I laid the wig on my head, it just laid right on down exactly where I needed it to be. So I said, you know what, today we're going to switch it up and actually cut that lace off first. So now I'm going to proceed with my normal steps and go in with that Ruby Kisses foundation. And I am using palette level, I think 16 if I'm not mistaken. And I'm using the brownish shade in that palette. And as you can see, as I added that foundation underneath that lace and I'm pulling it back down to my hairline, you can tell we're going to get a nice blend and a the you know like the ultimate meltdown for this wig and before i begin to add my layers i'm just going to go in with that hot comb and just hot comb those edges back just so i can make sure i got a clean a uh, surface that i'm working with and everything is nice you know nice and neat before i glue my wig down and just lay it right into place and going in with my lace mid adhesive okay I will be doing two layers today for my install, and it was super secure. Now, I want to give you guys a quick little story time. So, the glue that I'm using today is actually a return from one of my beauties, and uh, she emailed me, you know, she said she purchases a lot, but she was like, she was having an issue with her glue this time. Um, she said that it wasn't working, so I just told her to go ahead and resend the glue back, and then I will go ahead and send out, you know, some fresh batches for her to use. But um, guys, make sure like when you are applying the glue that you are actually, you know, um, doing everything correctly as far as the steps because I actually used the glue in this video just to make sure, um, you know, or to check if to see if the product was um, defective and it worked perfectly fine for me. So sometimes if you have an issue with the glue, make sure you are checking um, that you are following the, following the right steps to... Um, you know install your lace with the most important being cleaning your hairline making sure is no dirt or oils on your hairline before installing those are some examples that will prevent your lace from sticking or lasting as long as you need to because when i use the glue for on myself and i'm only using two layers just to ensure that it is strong working and holding as it should and it works perfectly fine for me so it's okay to have issues or if you need a little help with um you know using the glue just let me know down below um, or, you know, email me or you can text my business line and I can also give you a few tips personally to make sure that your glue is working. But um, that was just like a little transparency moment because sometimes you do you could have a, you know, defective product. But in this case, it wasn't defective. So I let her know, you know, an email like, hey, love, I tried the glue out for my install and it worked perfectly fine. Um, but I was still, you know, issue out brand new bottles, you know, just in case or whatever. But the, the glue sometimes, well, it, it works pretty much. So um, if you have any issues just make sure you are double checking your installation steps to ensure that you have the you know the proper foundation to lay down your glue for your most maximum results and this glue got a girl melted honey we're gonna go back in in a few seconds and just you know apply some more lace glue onto those little edges that still need to be tacked down and then we're gonna go ahead and prep for styling before we actually tie it down with the melt belt
and as you can see everything is coming along looking super natural and this is one reason I love kinky hair because it really gives you the most natural results when you really blend and melt that lace into the skin and just finishing up sliding those glues and those little cracks there I'm gonna go ahead and tack it down and begin my side part now today I did a bit of a lazy install I did not do baby hairs on both sides I only did baby hairs on the side that was going to be showing so you know just regard my little lazy install for today but um i am going to go ahead and you know finish tacking that lace down create my side part pull up my baby hairs for the other section and then of course you know spray the hairline down with holding spray and finally use the melt belt So I went ahead and created my side part and I did a nice little curved section. Now I'm gonna go in with my wax stick and wax stick around the parting area just to make sure that's nice and sleek. And then I'm gonna also go in with the hot comb and hot comb in the roots um, on the opposite side of the wig. And once I get all of that pretty much sleeked out, I will go ahead and spray my hairline with holding spray and then tie it down with the melt belt. Then I'm gonna go in quickly with my big flat iron and just flat iron the hair. 
um, out before I actually remove the melt belt and begin to cut my layers. And I will show you exactly how I cut my layers today uh, before I actually curled it up. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. And just going in with my best friend's flat iron by Lux One. I'm just going in and pressing out the hair just nice and quickly. Then I will go ahead and remove that melt belt and begin to cut my layers. So now it's time for that melt belt to come off. It's been sitting about five to 10 minutes in between there. And as you can see, it is giving scalpy period as it should y'all see the new hairline a new scalp very soft and natural looking definitely giving dominican blowout period as it should so i'm just combing that holding spray right off the edges making it nice and soft again oh it's so cute um and i'm just going to comb and smooth everything around combing out the hair on the opposite side as well and then i'll be going in with some scissors and cutting my layers and i did go in um pretty much as much as I could creating layers in this wig and I also you know did cut the hair even on the ends too which you guys won't be able to see me doing on the video because it was off camera well not off camera but it was out of the angle of the camera but um I am going to cut this wig even and then also create the layers and with the layers it was just pretty simple I started with my guideline and then I just um pulled all the hair towards my guideline and just um you know scissored or cut it diagonally but you guys will see when i get to that part so just you know keep watching So 
So I'm gonna start with my bang side first and just going um, a few inches under my chin, I'm gonna start cutting diagonal how I would as if I was doing like a regular side part with layers. I start by just cutting my first diagonal line um, in the front of the wig and then I'm gonna be pulling the hair section by section, bringing it towards my guideline line or where I started cutting to just finish cleaning up the layers. That way when I curl the hair up, it can really fall nicely into place. So going down first in diagonal, as you can see, just keep going down, down, down in an angle, um, nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go in and take the hair and as you can see i'm pulling it forward towards where i started my guideline and just continue to clean it up and go diagonal grabbing another section behind that section pulling it towards my guideline and angling down so i'm gonna do that on both sides to create my layers and then i will go in with my t3 curling iron and curl all of my hair away from my face and at this point right here i'm cutting it even on the end so i just pull everything forward and now i'm going to do the same thing to the other side starting with my diagonal guideline cutting it down grabbing the next piece from behind that section bringing it forward continuing where i left off going downward in that same angle and so on so um, once I finish up this last section, I will go ahead and go in with my T3 curler and begin to curl up my hair. And as I'm curling each piece up, I am going in with my Sebastian Shaper holding spray. This holding spray is bomb. If you haven't got you some yet, get you some, okay? I ordered mine from Amazon, but I'm quite sure you could find it in those um, like professional, professional hair stores. Um, you could get you some there, but um, if you don't want to go to the store and you're lazy like me, Amazon has it all, y'all know the vibe. So I'm using that Sebastian Shaper holding spray, spraying it on the hair before I curl it up. And that's my T3 curler and just curling, like I said, y'all, everything away from the face. Keeping the curls tight until I'm done curling the whole head and then we will comb through the curls.
now that I'm done curling everything, I'm going to just do the baby hair really quick. And I kept it really simple, but one thing I did forget is my edges curler. So it was so hard, y'all, for me to swoop these little two baby hairs without curling them first. But I just had to do what I had to do, y'all, because at once upon a time, remember when we didn't even know about that little technique? We was just swooping and swooping, child, till we got it right. But... Yes, this is so much harder to do without actually curling them first. So they didn't come out is, you know, how usually my baby hairs will come out. But, you know, it worked for the natural look that we was going for, the nice little blowout look. So it's, it's cool or whatever. But uh, I'm just going to keep it real simple. And I'm using a holding spray and just swooping the edge up until I get, a, you know, a reasonable, presentable baby hair to work with but once i get that baby hair swooped we will go in and comb out those curls and i will be using a big layer comb that's the big wild comb with the big teeth spaces um those are layer combs to actually curl the combs out and get everything into place And last but not least, the fun part, combing everything and letting it fall into place. I'm taking my wide layer comb and just combing through the hair and it's going to fall into place so beautifully. Oh, do y'all see the curls? Come on now. So as you guys requested, curling the kinky hair. Yes, it is giving. Okay. It's giving. It's giving y'all. Period so pretty so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial here is another look of the finishing look but let's get into it thank y'all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial get into it and see y'all next time bye Oh, and don't forget to thumbs up the video and check out the description details down below. Okay, guys. See you later.